What's up, y'all? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. Tyler Brown here with Future DDS. And today, we're going through the D2 Year Toolbox. Yep. Let's go. All right, y'all. So if this is your first time to the channel, essentially Tyler and I put these videos out to help pre get into school as well as show a little bit of our experience going through dental school. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you know whenever we post some new content. All right, y'all. So y'all seem to really, really enjoy our D1 Toolbox video. So this year, D2. All right, y'all, so we're gonna break this down into different subjects. So first, something that you might be a little bit more familiar with, fixed cross. So first we have our loops, then we have our drills and burrs, and then our central type of knot. Now, when you think about fixed cross, we want you all to think about uh, crowns and bridges. So if you look right here, we actually have a bridge right there on our three to five. Um, we also have a prep that we have made earlier within the semester right there on our nine. And so we use this type down for a whole bunch of different things. We use it for fix, but we also use it for our peds class. Now, um, it's great that we can switch out these different, uh, these different teeth models because look how easy it is for us to just pop in simulated children's teeth and perform procedures on there as well. All right, so when we're preparing our press, we use our tools, that, the same tools that we have from last year, actually. So we use our Explorer just to always check our margins and make sure that everything's smooth. Then we also use a probe just to make sure that our depths are correct because measurements are everything when we're making different crowns and bridges. And of course, we use our mirror. Um, when we're doing indirect vision, this is essential. Make sure you always have a clear mirror on hand. But how do we make these margins? How do we make these preps? First, our trusty drills. Still using the same ones from last year. Um, we trust them, we love them. Um, they're becoming old friends at this point. <laughs> we actually got some new birds this year. Um, these birds are more specific to making, um, really setting our margins. You know, when you hear fixed cross, margins are essential. You wanna make sure you have smooth, clear margins. And so these birds are uh, made in order to ensure that. So if you can see, the different chamfer that is on these birds. And we also, also have a modified shoulder um, just to make sure that sometimes we need the margin to be at a, a 90 degree angle. So uh, that's when we use the shoulder. Uh, these great contact wear is used in order to clear the interproximal spaces between the teeth. And we also have a football burr. So sometimes you might need to use this if you know, you're creating um, a fossa on the, uh, the palatal side of the tooth. So then once we do, you know, make the uh, bridge, we have to actually put, or make the bridge prep, we have to put temporaries on them. And so we use these birds to actually uh, craft our temporaries to look like real teeth and make sure that our occlusion and everything is correct. All right, so another new addition <laughs> this year that we found out was that we can actually unhook our slow speed and put on a straight attachment. Now this makes things very, very convenient when we're trying to shape our temporaries. Now, as you can see, we can just attach and go. It makes things so much easier because if we're using our typical slow speed, um, the angulation on it is just extremely awkward. This enables us to have more control over our burr and while we're doing these, these uh, very, very important modifications. So first things first for removable, our dentures let's type it done. Next, we have our articulator. Maybe the most important, our Bunsen burner. And don't forget the hose. And next, our waxing tools. We have our dentureless type of done. This is gonna be basically our model that we use to create our dentures from. First we take impressions of it, then we create casts, and we're eventually gonna create the dentures so that they fit in this type of done. Next, these are some custom trays that we actually created from that process. These are gonna be basically the bread and butter that we get tested on throughout the class um, using triad material on our cast that we created from our dentureless type of time. Next, we have our acrylic finishing burrs. These are what we use to clean up these custom trays 
just to make sure that we don't hurt or have any sharp edges on our customer face when we're fitting it into our patient. Uh, and well, in this case, our type of dog who is simulating our patient. Next, these are our waxing tools. These tools, uh, along with our Bunsen burner, are gonna be the essential tools that we use when we're creating our wax rooms. If you look at our custom trays, you can see the wax is actually connected to the custom tray. And what we do is heat up these instruments so that we can smooth and create the correct dimensions on our type of dime. We wanna make sure that we have the correct bite, the correct height, and everything. So we use the buffalo knife, these spatulas, as well as the ruler. And our occlusal plate. And we're doing that so we can make sure we have flat, consistently parallel wax rooms. Lastly, we have our articulator. This is gonna simulate the bite of our patient. As you can see, we have our cast that we created from our digitalist type of mounted onto the articulator, and we have another set of wax rooms that we created on here. So as you can tell, there's a lot of different steps. There's a lot of different instruments that we'll need for this one class. But at the end of the day, our final product will indeed be able to not only fit our cast that's articulated, mounted on articulated, but also our original edentulist type of dime. So for endo, the first thing, our endo motor. Next for endo, the hot tip. So we also have our endo ring and our instrument sponge. All right, y'all, so these are our basic tools for endo. For everybody who doesn't know what endo is, it's basically when we treat root canals. So on our sponge, we have K-files, which we use when we're starting instrumentation. Then we actually have our vortex files. And then we have our Gates Glidden Birds. Okay, so next. Next we have our syringe. Now we use the syringe to clear out all the debris that's formed once we're actually doing the instrumentation. We need the canal to be cleared, so this, uh, this syringe used for irrigation really does help. Next we have the endomotor. Now for this endomotor, we're actually gonna attach one of the vortex files that we showed you earlier. Um, basically just to open up the canal a little bit more to make sure that we're able to put the gutter pressure in um, and everything be smooth. So last, we have our hot tip. So with the hot tip, uh, this basically is used when we put the gutter pressure within the canal, but we actually need to melt that gutter pressure. So we'll put the gutter pressure in and we'll actually put the hot tip in as well. Melt the gutter pressure into the canal and pull it out. All right, you all, so that's it. Our second year toolkit, a lot of cool stuff, you know, a lot different than first year. We have a lot more projects and a lot more, you know, new materials and a lot of new different tools. When we're doing different things like endo, then we're switching to removable, then we're switching to fixed. It's just so much that we have to have everything to make sure we're doing everything correctly. So Definitely. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll give you guys another toolkit. I'm sure third year when we get more stuff, but uh, that's gonna be it for the video. Do not forget, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below we really appreciate you all um also hit that like button and the notification bell so that you know whenever we post new content yeah all right that's gonna be it yep y'all all right see y'all